I'm Jay from the Cubs Cast. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. The street is now less blurry, so we can check it out in clear view. And I also just want to check out a couple more things in this build, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Alright, so we're going to make it nighttime, and then we are going to sneak out of our house and go to the town. It was so blurry last time that I was about to schedule an eye appointment because I couldn't see anything, but I could see that booty, though, in clear view. But that's not the topic of today's episode. The topic is... We gotta see who this is clearly. Because I thought that was Ayano's mom. Now that I can see clearly, that is definitely not Ayano's mom. It says Oda Yaka Bakery. And we know that Amai Oda Yaka is one of the rivals in the game. She's like the cooking club girl. She's the one who got those cakes. So that's definitely Amai Oda Yaka. She has like the same bandana on. It says Oda Yaka Bakery. She just has like a green apron on. And also a lot of people are saying that could be the psycho son or it could be the dad. Now that we can see clearly, let's see this bitch ass in clear view. Let's see. That is, who is that? Come on, put it down. Yeah, that looks like Kenjo Psycho, right? That looked like a psycho ass dude. Like some people were telling me, nah, that's the dad, that's Mr. Psycho. Hell no, this guy looks way too young to be looking like a dilf, okay? Actually, now that I think about it, we never really saw Mr. Psycho's face. We are looking at him from the back. This guy looks like a pure fuckboy. That could be Kencho Psycho. I still think it is. A lot of people were like split 50-50 on that. They're like, oh yeah, that's definitely Kencho. Or like, oh no, that's Mr. Psycho. Either way, it's one of the Psycho guys. And a lot of people were giving me crap for calling one of the boats a Jesus boat because I said it's floating on water. I meant it was floating on air when it's supposed to be on water. Come on, guys, give me a break. My brain wasn't working at the time, all right? But yeah, the street is no longer blurry. Like, we can see this ramen shop girl in clear view. We can see the rainbow hair colored girls. We can still see that the redhead is still so goddamn evil. And we can see Oka in her snazzy outfit. Kakoni with the headmaster looking dude. And we still have this girl over here. I don't even know who she is. She could be like Nemesis's older sister. But those hips do not lie. I don't think they've ever told a lie in her entire life. Bruh. But there's one thing that I want to check out with Kakona. Kakona meets up with this guy because she's basically forced to because she needs money for compensated dating. A lot of people don't really know what I'm talking about because a lot of people are new to the game. So we are going to eavesdrop on the phone call at the beginning of the day. We're going to try to either help her out or we're going to eliminate her. And then we're going to see if she's still in the town when we come here at night. Oh, she's taking her phone call over here now. Hello? I told you not to call me when I'm at school. This is the guy she's hanging around with when she goes to town. Like I said, that was a one-time thing. I don't want to do that again. How much did you say? Cha-ching! Well, if it's just one more time, then I guess it's okay. Wait, she said one more time, so will she only go How on a Monday? Tonight? Where we met last time? In Sesuta Town? Okay then, I'll see you tonight. Okay, so she said one more time. I can't So does she only I'm meet him this. on Monday? What about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? I'm going to check that out. But before we do, this is what I'm going to do right now. I am going to do... What should I do? Should I do... Mm, I guess I'll do Berserker mode. And then we're going to take out the Drake Slayer. And we're going to slay you right now. <clears throat> oh, that was so freaking lame. That was so lame. I apologize. But we eliminated Kakoni. We are going to end the day. And now you guys get to see what the police do when we have an Easter egg. So the police arrive at school. And the police see Yanchan and are absolutely horrified and run for their lives because they're pussies. Ayano stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely and then returns to her home. And now they can do the drama club because Kakona is the most dramatic person in the school. So yeah, that's what happens when you do an Easter egg now. The police run away. But since we eliminated Kakoni... Is she gonna meet that man in Shisuda Town? And is this Shisuda Town? It is, right? No? Because Kakoni's right here. That is definitely Kakona. She is the only one with piggly wiggly tails like that. And this man is definitely an older man. And he looks like he has some money because he's ugly in the face, but he's hot in the wallet. But she said it's a one-time thing and it's Monday. So what if I make it Tuesday? Will she be there? Let's find out. Okay, so now it's Tuesday. And the fact that we eliminated Kakona didn't do anything because she was still in the town with that guy. But let's see if she's going to be with him on a different day. Maybe she's going to be with him every day. Is she? Yup. I see that purple hair. 
Yeah, she is with him. I'm starting to think that she loves him because she's with him on a Tuesday and she said it was a one-time thing. But she also has one more dilemma that we can handle. Maybe if we take care of that, she won't be with this guy at all. So let's check that out too. All right, so we are going to go to the roof and then we are gonna talk about Kakoni's problems right now. No, don't push, don't push. Oh my God, I almost pushed this bitch. Okay. Oh, you're the one who wanted to meet me here? Yeah. Your note said that you wanted to talk about domestic abuse? Yes. I heard you talking with Saki. I want to help you with your problem. What is your father doing to you? Oh, you've got it all wrong. My father doesn't do anything to me. Then what does he do when he gets Wait, drunk? Wait, is this new? I don't remember this. He... He he. He cries. What? He cries and talks about his debt problems. These lines are new, huh? Your father is in debt? When my mom died last year, my family lost a lot of money. My dad took out a loan so that he could continue to pay for my tuition fees, but... It turns out that he borrowed money from some really shady people. They raise the interest rate by 10% every 10 days. And they threaten to get violent with him if he doesn't pay up. Loan sharks. Loan sharks. I'm trying to help my dad get out of debt. I'm trying to earn money any way I can, but... The only ways to make money fast are... Gross. Yeah, we've seen what that guy looks like. What's Definitely the name gross. of the business that your father borrowed money from? Um, I think it's called Ronchaku Loans. I'm going to get your father out of debt. What? No! Please, don't get involved. I doubt there's anything you could do about it. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I love how there's like no emotion in that. You'd be surprised. And I don't think there's anything I am else not a robot. Said. Thanks for letting me talk about my problems. You're welcome. All right, I keep forgetting which one's Megumi. I mean, not Megumi. What's her name? I forgot what her name is. Her name is uh, dang it! Why can't I remember people's names? There's so many people in this game. Her name's not Megumi. It's uh, Masume. Masume. Oh my goodness, guys, what's going on with me? Masume. All right, here's Masume, right? Masume Ronshaku. Yep, Masume Ronshaku. I'm gonna need you to follow me. No, not you, Masume clone. I need you to follow me. Come on, talk to me. Tell me your name. There we go. Okay, she's in the box. We are going to end the day, and now it's showtime. Ayano waits until midnight, sneaks into school, and returns to the musical instrument case that contains her unconscious victim. She pushes the case back to her house and ties the victim to a chair in her basement. Man, she is so goddamn evil. You know, sometimes you gotta whisper it. You can't say it out loud. She's so goddamn evil. Okay, gonna go to the basement. And we got the camera ready. Yup, there we go. 60 FPS, only available at night. You gotta be joking me. All right, it's nighttime. That's when the freaks come out, AKA me, cause I'm a freak. And we are gonna record this video. All right, that made me wildly uncomfortable. Watch this video. Damn, Ayano is so messed up and I love it. You scumbag. What have you done to my daughter? I haven't harmed her yet. If you ever want to see her again, you must do as I say. What do you want from me? Free all of your clients from debt. Is Masume's dad Batman? Are you insane? Sink my business. I feel like to get this guy, we just gotta throw up the bat symbol and he'll be here right away. For every day that your clients remain in debt, I'll remove one of your daughter's fingers. If you want her back in one piece, you must act immediately. You monster. That's what they call me. Fine. I'll do it. Why is he even contemplating this? Wouldn't you just take away the guy's debt and then just, like, get your daughter back? Like, it's a no-brainer! 
Just let that money go! My dad just got a phone call. He says his debts have been wiped clean. Alright, no more Shisuda Town. Did you do this? Oh yeah. Yes. What did you do? I can't tell you. That's... kind of scary. But I can't remember the last time I saw my dad this happy. I don't know what you did, and I'm afraid to ask. But you saved my dad. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Words can't express how grateful I am. There is one thing I'd like to ask you for. What is it? Please meet me at my house tomorrow, before school begins. I have something important to tell you. I'll be there. And one last time. Thank you. Okay, this next part doesn't matter because we already cleared the debt. But it says here, Yanchan waits until the clock strikes midnight. She renders Masume-chan unconscious and puts her body into a large musical instrument case. Under the cover of darkness, she travels to the Ronshaku Loans building and leaves the instrument case outside of the entrance. Yanchan returns home, sleeps, and waits for Kokoni to arrive. But yeah, this whole part right here doesn't really matter because we already cleared the debt, so she doesn't need to make that money from that old gross geezer in Shisuda town. So let's see if she'll be there if we go to the town at night. But I'll let this you play for nice anyone place, who hasn't seen Yancha. it yet. Because like I said, there's a lot of people who are new Thanks. to the game that haven't seen this yet. Where they might be like, parents? whoa, what is this? So I'll show you guys. So you take care of yourself? That must be hard. I manage. I want to thank you again for helping my dad. I won't ask what you did. I'm sure it's something that you wouldn't want to talk about. But I hope you gave him what he deserved. Loan sharks are awful people. I like how she I just gets up while she's talking and pouring her heart out. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna go ahead and kill, and, and, and kill you now. Involved. But no, we're not gonna do it. Told her about we're my gonna leave Kukoni alive because we need to see if she'll go to the town since we cleared her dad's debt, which is what makes her want to make money in the grossest ways possible. No, Yanchan, put those hands away. We're not eliminating anybody. Bad girl. There you go. That must have been so embarrassing for her. I feel so bad about it. But now it's all in the past. You saved my dad. And now I can finally stop spending my time trying to make money in gross ways. Oh, I just realized I've been rambling this entire time. You said that you had something important to tell me, right? Okay, okay. Now that she mentioned that she doesn't have to do gross things for money anymore, we don't care about this. She basically just wants Kokona to not be crushing on our sand daddy. So let's skip ahead and go to the town. All right, boys and girls, it is now Wednesday. Immediately after that meeting that we just had with Kokoni, we are going to go to town. And let's see if she's still doing those gross things for money because it's so gross to look at. Is she there? She's still there. Maybe she likes it gross. I think she likes it nasty. He has her arm around her. It's not air hovering either. That's full on rubbing her shoulder up and down. And she has like a little smile on her face. I think she low-key likes it. So no matter what I do, guys, no matter if I eliminate her or I fix her debt problems with her dad, she is still going to be here sitting with this gross, nasty man. So to answer my own question, yes, she will still be with this guy even if I fix all her problems in this game. All right, last thing I want to check out is the new mech update. I didn't check it out when it actually got updated because it wasn't enough for me to make a video on. But basically, we can upgrade the mech's weapons and they can destroy parts of the environment. So I kind of want to see what that looks like. I kind of forgot where all the keys are. So forgive me if I'm looking like a big old jackass. All right. So let's unchain all these bad girls right over here. Remove the tarp. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, boy, boy. Let's get inside the robot. Upgrade the weapons. Okay. So you guys know when electricity is coming out of the nipples, you know it means business. So let's do this. And did that destroy anything? I think that destroyed my expectations. Wait, it destroyed the door. Okay, wait. So can we destroy the door to Infochan's room? Ah! Oh, come on. Those are not bulletproof doors. They're not exploding proof either. Electricity nipple proof. Come on, man. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm in the room. Let's go. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got to get out of here. Hold on. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Holy crap. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. We straight up glitched into Infochan's room. Hold on. I got to get back in there. Please tell me I can get in there. Yes. Okay. 
So we destroyed the wall to Infochan's room and we can just go through. We can go through all day. So now we can like fully explore this shit. Hold on, let me see Infochan's face. Let me see that greasy, nasty face. Ugh. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you acting so weird? I'm literally crouching underneath the computer desk. How is that weird? People do that all the time. Okay, but this is basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to get inside Infochan's room and we got in here pretty damn easy. So let's see. We can go through these walls. Can we go through the tree? We cannot go through the tree. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Why do you break my heart like this? Wait, we can go inside the counselor, right? I mean, not go inside the counselor. Come on, guys. We're not sick like that. I mean, go inside the office. Can we go inside the office? Come on. Get inside the office. Get inside this damn office. Da! Come on. Baby, please. Let me in, baby, please. Wait, I can visit the counselor. What can I help you? Oh! <laughs> Mech all in her whole face. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck is this shit? Okay, um, I'm gonna leave Don't because I kind of want to do hood rat things with my hood rat friends. Oh, wait, I didn't have it charged up. No. Oh, okay, let me go back to the counselor's office. I'm gonna charge it up, guys. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna charge it up. Oh, okay, so we can destroy the tree because I didn't charge it up. The nipples weren't lighting up like lightning. I forgot I didn't have the electric nipple. Okay, so let's blow through this door. There we go. Hi, ya pal. How's it going? <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Why am I sitting like that? Why am I sitting like my shit don't stink? Okay, so I can't talk to the counselor. What is she looking at, by the way? She's still looking at like those student reports. Okay, she's not even sitting on a chair. What? Oh, no wonder she got those buns and ties. Because she is, like, using her leg muscles to keep her up. I see you, baby girl. Okay, so we can go in the office. I forgot to charge it up. But, uh, yeah, guys. This mech can do anything. Like, we can just blast through whatever we want. We can go inside the boys' locker room if we want, I think. Let me see. Let's go inside here. Through the wall. Yeah. Boys' locker room activated. <laughs> and there's nothing in here. There's, like, nobody here. There's not even a shower. There's, like, one small shower. How the hell do you guys fit in here? What about underneath the pool? Can I go underneath the pool? Oh, let me underneath the damn pool. Oh, the cherry blossom tree. Yeah, no confessing for you, bitches. Maybe I can leave the map? Hold on. Destroy that. Yes! Okay, I left the map. And there's nothing really under the map. All right. So I'm just going to keep falling. Because I think I am falling. Yep, I am falling. Yeah, there's no girl under the fountain in this map. But at least you can see the whole map. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I think I'm just going to keep falling for all of eternity. Unless I can see an Easter egg. Hold on, let's just keep falling. Let's see where we go. Maybe we'll end up in the town. Psych! All right, guys, let me unlock all these chains again. And then I turned on the witch Easter egg so I could do this. There you go. I don't know why I did it, but I did do it. And let's power these up. You guys see the liquid coming out of those nipples? Oh, yeah, that's nice and juicy. So just to test it out again, let's do this. There you go. And now we are back in Infochon's room. Oh, this looks like ass. Okay, let me get out of here. Get out. Uh, let me time start. That looked like butt. I don't even know why I did that. I thought I was cute with it. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. Let's just uh, power these up. Let's go in front of the school, and I'm going to try to leave. I'm going to see if I can shoot that barrier. So let's get these wise guys out of here. Actually, wait. That's what I wanted to do. Let me get out. Let me get out. Let me time stop. There you go. And then let's shoot. Let's shoot while we're inside the mech. And let's see what happens. Hold on. I got to face it forward. Okay. There you go. No. Stupid mech. Stupid mech. What? No. Mech. Stop. Stop running over people. I thought you're not supposed to hit them until time starts again. Okay, there we go. Got it. What happened to the music? What the heck? You guys hear that? I didn't like change any sound. That's literally what it sounds like. What in the world? Bro, this is weird. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let me get out. Let me time start again. And there you go. We pretty much demolished the whole school. All right, I'm going to get in. And why are they still frozen in time? I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, damn, that guy died a horrible death. So let's get all these trees out of here. 
Let's see if we could uh, get out of sight of the school, guys. Because that's the last thing I want to do in today's episode. I want to see if we can get out of the school. Come on. Am I out? Oh, uh, no, I'm not. Damn it. Okay. So we can't get out from the front of the school, I think. Because I tried. I really tried. You guys saw me try. But I don't think that we could do that. We can go through any wall like this. But I don't think that we can go down. Yep. And I fell through the map again. So let me get out. Am I out? Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, crap! Aw, oh, this hurts my eyes! All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. The town is no longer blurry, so we can see everybody that comes in and out of this town. Kokona won't leave this man no matter what we do. And we also had some fun with the mech's new powers. And we got into Infochan's room and the counselor's room. We couldn't quite leave the school the way I wanted to, but at least we had some fun. If you guys enjoyed this video and can't wait for more updates in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!